Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft 1.19 with the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. One episode in. I'm in a totally different location, but you can see I'm still in the Badlands out here. I found this cave in the wall of a mountain that you can basically... Well, let's take a little ride around real quick and show you. The dirt block is mine. I blocked the water from going over the edge there, and I've blocked it from going over the edge right in here, too. This is a dripstone cave coming down from the above. Uh, maybe I could put a couple of torches so you guys could see a little bit better here. Right here, dripstone cave back in here, which is awesome. Looks really cool. Very cool. And it pops out here. And we've got this big area. I mean, this is just massive. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Watch, it, watch it. There's a magma block down there. <laughs> got to be careful. Um, it's got this little turnaround right in here, too. A stalagmite coming down here like this. That's cool. Or is it a stalactite? No, I can't remember. There's a drop-off right here, which is pretty awesome. So there's a pull-up right there for some reason. And then there's a second one over here that goes back in there as well. And this thing is going all the way up to there. You can see there's light coming in from the ceiling. It's massive. And some of these drip stones, I believe, they will keep growing, correct? They will grow until they're done growing. So they're gonna keep on going. I believe there's also an abandoned mine shaft mixed in with this at the very moment. And underwater here, it is pretty interesting looking. I think if we had some lighting down there in the water, it would really bring that place to life and make it look really cool. So I dropped a bed here. Uh, some of the stuff that we had picked up last episode is over at the other location where that island was. And then this is the stuff that I've picked up on the way back over here. We have a bow and some arrows, but I'm not going to take those with me. I was going to go up. See, right up here, we've got, um, I've had skeletons and zombies roaming around up in here. So that's a abandoned mine shaft up there. I'm fairly certain of that. Then down here... It drops off way down in there. So I'm thinking I might want to go down first, or should I go up first? I don't know, because it's a sizable mountain. So whatever's up there is going to be up there for a while. I've got some torches on me. I could make some more. I've got a little bit of coal. Uh, I've got a little bit too much wood on me is what I've got. I could put drop some of that off right here. Uh, since we're probably going to be bumping into abandoned mine chef, we'll probably have plenty of this stuff to be picking up. But I'll take all this with me right here. You can hear him now. It's him and a skeleton up there. So I'm thinking I, it, it wouldn't be bad to shut this area down, you know, since it's kind of where I'm set up at. Oh, we got a baby zombie too, it sounds like. That's just trouble, huh? All right, let's go on up this way. There we go. Let's do this. Uh, there we go. Do that right there. And let's put that there and that there. Creeper. Took a little hit. Oh, 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 Nope, get out of here, you little bugger. You're going to kill me. Get in the water. Whoo. Oh, that was close. Daddy's here. Okay, let's go eat. Whoo. Baby zombies, man. Beautiful. Oh, it was almost the death of me there. Almost the death of me. They came at me quick. I was wondering what could be, <laughs> what kind of opening I was going to be in store for. There we go. All right, we're okay. Uh, a creeper blast. Ooh, that was a close one as well. There we go. Let's try that again. This time without, hopefully, the creepers coming at me. There's one right there. I don't think he saw me, though. The caves are enormous now. That Caves and Cliffs update, I really didn't play too much of it because, well, I just didn't. I was waiting for the rest of the thing to come down. And so now that it's here, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I want to play. <laughs> 
It, this is a, it, it's so much. The game has so much in it. That there's so much to do. You're an Enderman. Lots of gold in here, huh? Yeah, see, I thought this was an abandoned mine shaft up here, but it does not appear as though that's the case. Okay, this goes nowhere, but there's some gold up here. All right, we'll do that. If I see dirt in the ceiling, I'll know that's dirt I put there. I'm going to go up in here next. There we go. And we'll put one right here, too, just for good measure. Can these guys get up to me here? They can. Surprised I took damage on that. Like I said, it kind of feels to me. It feels like a very new game. Everything's gotten harder. I feel like, anyways. Might be enough light for right there. I don't know. More gold. That's the thing about this biome. There's lots of gold. I'm really curious. I'm thinking about settling down here because it is really cool outside, guys. It's awesome. We don't have a village. I don't know. I don't know for sure. There's more exploration in this general area that needs to be done. But I should grab this coal while I'm at it. Um, it seems like... Uh, it's just a really beautiful Badlands area. There's spires. It's got um, a lot of the red sand showing. Water does not, that I can tell, have a coral reef right next to it. That could be wrong. I have not really explored this area too much. I kind of bumped into it yesterday while I was just kind of uh, just off camera roaming around. And um, thought I'd bring you guys back in to show you this. The only part I've not that you didn't see that I did see was the, the view from up on one of the hillsides nearby. There's some pretty sizable mountains out here. Or badland hills, I should say. They're badland hills. Let's go ahead and make a few more torches. I've been hanging out in the area enough that I've, you know, mobs are spawning. I did just sleep the night away. Man, I tell you, it, it, it gets busy. The, the mobs get real busy. Uh, we've got more of uh, dripstone here, it looks like. Oh, look at that view. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Look at the stone coming down from the ceiling. Oh man. Oh, I gotta do something with this. This has gotta be... I may change my entire plan. Could we do an underground biosphere? Could we do one underground in a dripstone cave like this? It'd be really cool too if we could find a... Um, lush cave system nearby. I probably should watch these holes. Oh, God, Enderman. I'm going to do this right here. Can, can, uh, I'm making sure nobody can spawn above me, too. Uh, let's see. Does this continue on? The caves just seem to keep going anymore. It sure looks like it's got a little something left in it, doesn't it? Come on, drop a pearl. All right, first pearl of the game. The first pearl has been acquired. Looks like nighttime has arrived. I found a clock in a chest. I like the clock. <laughs> I don't have it on. I don't think I have it on me. I do have it on me. <laughs> I do. I like having the clock. I do. Uh, I don't know why. I guess because I like to know what time it is. It's going to be my guess. <laughs> That's... I always, I, I do, if I find a clock, I keep it. Uh, that's it there. You know what? Just because I know I'm probably never going to be back here into this little cubby hole ever again. Let's grab up the, uh, the gold. Let's drop that in there. We'll throw this in here. Uh, oh, we got two more. There we go. And you guys come back here. There we go. Perfect. 
The lichen is really cool. Here's a little bit of iron. I've not done, really, I have not done any caving, you guys. This is the first caving I've gotten to do. I was just kind of curious to see what kind of cave this is. And it is looking pretty incredible down below. Wouldn't mind getting back into that main room and getting it kind of lit up and explored a little bit more uh, today. We're fully armored. Uh, it's not enchanted, which we probably, well, we need to find a diamond before we can do any enchanting, of course. Um... So we've got to do that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I should probably grab up a little bit of this stuff since we've been using it, you know? Now that it's right here and I see it, why not take advantage of it? That was a, that was a dangerous thing to do there. You don't want to fall on these, I guess. I guess they cause quite a bit of damage. But I can pick them up, right? Yeah, I can pick them up. Okay, that's cool. And then I believe I can put them down again, if I am not mistaken. I believe I can put them down here and then above as well. I can't put them on the side, but I guess I could put it uh, right there. Yeah, just like that. Look at this. Oh my god, there's skeletons over there. A couple of... Oh, there's three skellies over there. Oh, that's a good sign. Maybe there's a spawner over there? Oh, that would be pretty awesome, huh? just recurred to me that I did not write down the coordinates of where I'm actually at in the world before coming in here. Wow, this is a massive cave, you guys. It's huge. It's got that really cool water entrance. I like that. I'm trying to figure out how I want to handle this because there's spawn points all over the place up here that they can get to. Since I'm up here, I should probably deal with it now. If I build the causeways out of cobble, because um, I feel like this is just something I can't pass up. This is an amazing looking cave, and we're we're not at the bottom yet. Once we get to the bottom, we're gonna see we're gonna feel tiny down there, super tiny. And then if we dig a mine to our um, the deep slate and stuff, it it would be much uh, much easier. So, what is my best bet at this? Hmm. How should I go about lighting this up? I feel like if I were to go down and just put a couple of torches here and there, this would lighten up pretty quick and easy. There's our way out. Wow. So no band of mine shaft at the moment seen in here. Hmm. There he is. He's got a sword, too. He's armed. Armed and dangerous. You see him up there? Drop his sword? No. No such luck. Put this right here. Ooh, I'm nervous. It's been so long since I've done this. I don't see... Maybe there's some spawnable points right there in that wall, but I think this area is now closed. To zombies. To spawns, period. I think. Uh, but then there's over here, too. That's just amazing. It's amazing. It takes, I bet, I haven't done one yet, so it's got to be just a bunch of time to close down these caves, huh? The exploration is exponential. Some more coal over here. I'm tempted to grab up that dirt right there, too. It's not a bad idea when you're caving and stuff to grab a stack of dirt. I don't really have a stack on me. I left it behind. Uh, cobble will be easier for me to see and come back and remove so we can keep the cave looking as natural as possible. That's how I like to build. That's the kind of worlds I like to build in because I don't... Want, I'm not a um, landscaper. <laughs> I, I don't build terrain very well. I think the game does, but I don't think I do. So I like to keep it as uh, 
natural as possible. So I don't have to do it myself. I'm going to leave that piece of coal right there so I don't... Uh... Did I grab my blocks back here? I was going to get this dirt, huh? How far does this go? I'm going to start dropping down this here uh, little spire thing here. I just ran into a nice big vein of uh, copper. I'm going to hop down this way. See how far I can get down. He sounds like he's inside this, doesn't he? Maybe he is. There he is. <laughs> he's just trapped in a little hole. It's the way the zombies like it. Trap him in a little hole and they can't be more happy. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're going down this side here. Kind of making our way down. I should... I should continue to take care of the whole thing, though, all the way around, right? Let's go all the way around, see if we can come back out the other side here. Uh, I'm going to break you out. There we go. I'm going to have to stop and cook some of the iron I found. I don't have a lot of it, but I'll have to do that. And I think if I do that right there, that's going to line up a bunch of it there. And then it looks to me like I'm pretty good on this side. It's this other side that I might be a bit weak on here. Uh, can I get through here? I can. Let's do that. We'll keep moving around the whole the whole spire. And it should be kind of cool looking from downstairs when we get all the way downstairs. When we get all the way down there. <clears throat> I think we got the other side from the, uh, the different angle there. So, back down here. Let's take this back from us. There we go. And we'll come down here, and there's another one of those little holes that they could spawn in but can't get out of. Those are That's something to watch out for, huh? I guess we're probably at the level now where we can just worry about um, going around the bottom edge here. Just need to be careful of those um, points. It was a quality kill. Uh, let's check the ceiling, making sure nobody's going to jump off and land on my head. Those guys are all stuck over there, so that's fine. Don't have to worry about them at all. Not unless they come up over the top of this. <laughs> oh, sounds like the skelly shot somebody. Oh, he's getting his butt kicked. Oh, jeez, they're both... Oh, there we go again. Yeah, that zombie's just angry. Oh! Oh, you son of a gun, you. I called him Cheap Shot. Who wishes he had that bow now? That'd be me. That'd be me. What, what did he just do? Did he die? I think he died. Okay, I need some torches. Torches. Gotta make some torches here real quick. Watch that creeper find a way around and kill me. Uh, we'll take that back. Take a few more sticks. There we go. And let's get a full stack of torches going again. There we go. Awesome. Got some pretty good stuff on us. All right, so we had a creeper over there too. My shield is looking pretty, pretty poorly as well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, don't shoot me no more. Oh man, what a shot! Oh, there we go, right in the buttocks. Oh, does he not care about being shot by that guy? <laughs> he doesn't. Got you both. Double kill. Oh my gosh, this place is incredible. I could just see a cart system going through here. You get to ride it and see it all. Every time you came down. That'd be so cool. 
Trying to get some of this just lit up as best I can to begin with here. Watch it. Got us a shooter, people. Closing in on you. Ah, ah. Take it, spunk. You little punk. Spunk. <laughs> Take it, spunk. Oh my god. He's weird. He's weird. Doesn't make any sense when he speaks. He's no good at games. <laughs> oh man. Whatever. Look at us. We're doing it. I play too cautiously, don't I? There we go. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, watch out for that little guy. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get poked. There you go, right there. This is good. We've got ourselves kind of a chunk here. Well, who am I kidding? There's a big hole there. There's a big old hole over here. It just keeps on giving. I hear a spider. Got these little two holes right up there like that, and they like to spawn in those. If it's dark enough, anyways. Oh, this is good. Look at all this iron right here. There's a bunch of iron we just saw. You saw it? I saw it. And if we get our light far enough back, you know, they'll spawn in here, but they may not come out far enough to actually spot us, which is kind of the idea. And as we go, we keep uh, lighting it up. This, of course, is for anybody who is unfamiliar with the game. Just twists and turns, baby. Twists and turns. All around. So well done. I'm always amazed at how something like this is created. Hi, hey, buddy. Oh, there's two of you over here, huh? Come on over. I thought I heard the familiar clank. Oh, I got a zombie coming in over here. Yeah! <sighs> Take it, zombie. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's okay. I don't have any torches, though. We're almost going to be taking off. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. Just a little bit more of that. I, oh, 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 oh. Creeper. Well, what are you going to do? We do the best we can. We try. We try. I feel like I hear footsteps, but it's the water dripping. Mm-hmm. Drip. Stone. Cave. <laughs> I know. It makes so much sense. Nobody behind me? I need to fix my shield, too. I keep saying that, and I don't stop to do it. One more. Come on, get, get nice and close, though. There we go. Get that XP from you. All right, I, I've got to cook this up. Look at all the copper down in here, too. It's insane. It's so much of it. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these, one of these, one of these. There we go, and boom, boom, boom. Just box myself in a little bit. I'm going to put down my workbench, get a furnace going, and get my stuff put together and get it done proper like. And welcome back. We've upgraded to all iron tools now. That's a good thing. I'm going to leave that, this, this cobblestone right here so I know I've been there. I'm not going to be in here too much longer. We are going to head out. I hope you don't mind having a caving episode with me today. I felt like uh, when, we, when I spotted this little place, I thought, you know what? I've got to get down in there and see what there is uh, being offered in this. The only thing that would make this even better was if it ran into a lush biome as well. That would be pretty cool. This is some tight quarters back in here, isn't it? Uh, there's a little more iron, though. We're good? We're good. And some andesite. Okay, there's a little andesite here, too. Uh, let's get the furnace out of there. Put the gold down there. We're going to put the andesite back. Oh, right there. I was kind of hopeful that was going to turn into a lush cave right there. Sometimes those tight little tunnels turn into that sort of a thing. 
I think we're okay back here, but I'll throw a torch down anyways. Um, I'm wondering if this is one of my waterfalls to the surface here. We got a mob spawn on there. We could probably have a mob spawn up in there as well. Uh, and speaking of spawn areas, this is probably one of them also. I'm running out of food, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go back to the surface. I'm going to have to go find food. Uh, we're going to have to get cattle uh, lined up around here. And some farming stuff as well. So I need to go back to those villages to find out what I can come up with. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a torch over here just so we can shut this down a little bit. Let's break this out. We'll throw one there and just for good measure we'll throw one there too. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of areas that they can spawn on in here still. And it's going to be like that for a little while. It's going to be like that. You know, I'll do some of it off camera and so on and so forth. All that good stuff. The usual Minecraft thing. Can't show all of it, right? Love to, but can't. May even do some streams of this. You never know. Uh, let's poke our head up here real quick. Wow. I keep saying that, huh? Wow. I know. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the size of this place. It's massive. Try to subdue them as much as possible. Well, oh, that's got some lichen on it. I hear a zombie now. Uh, that's it for my torches again. I think we've gone through three stacks of torches. Not too many. Okay, I see the zombie. He's kind of hanging out and stuck over there. It goes back, way back in there. Uh, looks like he got himself out. Hey, Buster Brown. How you doing? I was hoping he'd land on that spike. But he didn't. Where's the other waterfall at? I was looking at a nice tall waterfall that goes all the way up. Way, 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 way up. This one right here. Up we go. Oh, don't fall on those spikes. God, if the skeleton's up here, I'm in some trouble. <laughs> what am I going to need once I get up here? There we go. Oh, look at this. It's awesome. Nothing can get into me. Chop and a chop. Do that right there. Voila. We're good to go. We've got ourselves a little bit of an exit here. Have no idea where we're going to come out at, but there it is. What's the clock say? That's ah, middle of the night. Okay, give me a second. I'll come back and we'll head out and see where we wind up coming out of this place. That was so cool. Very cool. There it is, right there. Uh, potions would be nice to have right in here, so we go down here and see the, the breathing potions and the underwater potions would be really sweet. Uh, I need to go over this way. A little bit further yet. There we go. Whoop, we go. There we go. Perfect. What was that? Thought I saw something moving right there. Wouldn't doubt it. Would not doubt it at all. Look at that. We did some, uh, we did some loot. And I turned our copper into blocks because we had, well, we didn't have, we picked up more of what we did. We keep, oh, oh. I got a spider down here. Going to cause me some trouble, some grief. Oh, there's a creeper down there, too. I see you. All right, we got to light that up, too, since it's so close to where we're, you know, setting up shop here. Uh, you guys can go in there, too. Just about everything can go in there. I do want about half of that coal, though, to come back with me. Uh, fortune 1 pick. I'm going to hold on to that because, like I said, I thought it was Fortune 2, but Fortune 1 is great. I need to make sure I can get... Um, uh, if I find diamonds, to use that on the diamonds. 
Like this is all the food I have right now. Uh, food's not usually an issue. I've got, I can grow some watermelons. I guess I could do that and get those guys going. I don't have the special hoe with me. I left that back at the other place. So I'm going to have to go back there as well and get um, the rest of our stuff. Which I can now put a chest in the boat, which is awesome. This is like the fourth boat, by the way. I keep losing them. <laughs> uh, some dirt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do eight pieces of dirt right there. Just like that. All right, let's go get uh, a little food growing, hopefully. I guess I could go fish, huh? I could kill the fish if I wanted to. I wanted to show you guys this place. It's just an amazing sight to see. This is a nice little inlet right here, too. Oh, looks like this cuts all the way through as well. Hee-hoo! No place else anybody can spawn here. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. It cuts right through there. That's pretty neat. Okay, where am I going to build a farm? <laughs> I don't want to be too far away. But I do feel like starting out in this, this entrance, this bay right back here is really beautiful. And having this big entrance like this is pretty cool. And we could put our structure all along here. And whenever we leave... We go out through these spires. The spires will be a nice, interesting uh, view for us. You know what? Um, options. Video settings. Render distance. I forgot I had it up on that high. I went exploring again after recording last episode. And... Um, there they are. Almost feel like I need to set the farm up down here somewhere, but th this cave is just so incredible to me that I feel like it's a great spot to do a build in and have some fun with. We could run, like I said, a rail system in from up top here down below, and we could actually dot our biosphere buildings all along these shorelines, uh, which would be very cool, I think. And just being in here is awesome, man. I just feel so good in here. This is really cool. Anyways, let me know what you think about that. I was going to put some food in the ground, right? Wasn't I going to do that? Look at me. I'm just so sidetracked. So what am I get, where am I going to put it? Um, where am I going to put the farm? I can put it up here for now. If I shovel this down, it's not far from that. We could probably get a pathway built over to here. Maybe a bridge from that, that spot over to here for now. grab this red sand right here we don't want to uh, I don't want to do too much this area again like I said you know I don't feel like I can actually create this very well do that right there and God, I could really put one right there and it would grow along the shoreline here let's go do that let's go ahead and do that and we'll put you right there and, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I know I could improve my odds on this, but, well, let's go ahead and improve our odds. Let's do it. There we go. Just like that. Now you've got several locations that you can actually land if you want to. Another piece of dirt right here. We'll throw another one around there. There we go. Maybe a piece of dirt here. I'm doing all this digging and I don't do any digging at all. I've got the water right here at my... I don't, even, I don't think I even need water next to these plants, but, you know, whatever. It looks better this way. Let's do another one right here. And that's our last uh, watermelon seed at the moment. There we go. So now we got some food planted. Those will go. Do, do I have any bones on me? I don't. Not in my inventory, but you know what? I've got some. We could speed this process up a little bit. I could... Kill the fish too? I believe the fish respawn, right? The fish will respawn. No, oh, this is cool, right? It's like totally cool. Okay, let's uh I got five, huh? Okay, let's go five of those right there. Boom. I got some bone meal. Back out to the watermelons. Maybe I should do some kind of a glass farm thing underwater here or something. That could be kind of cool too, down in that little ravine. 
Means we gotta get prepped quick. Okay, let me get let me get out of the boat. Why, why won't it work? There we go. Wasn't hitting the hitbox just right. You can see the little box there. There we go. All right, so now we're we're sped up a little bit. Those guys should be producing watermelons in no time flat. Let's think about that. The farm area. Hmm. You know, we got this thing right back in here. We can actually punch a hole through that wall. We've got this water area right over here. Hmm. It's a little ways out of the way, huh? It's a little bit out of the way. Yeah, this is just a really neat spot. I love the fact that there is the um, spires over here. I'm going to put a torch here and a torch over here just uh, for the nighttime sake of it. We can bring our own coral reef in. We can do all that stuff and bring it here to us, which is always an interesting thing to try to do. I feel like I can do that at least. Uh, and I'm really curious as to what's going on underwater here. We could do a room underwater for the farms and go down to it and then fill them in. Uh, that would be awesome as well, I think. Let's eat one of our gold carrots. There we go, perfect. Yeah, there, there's a lot of work left to be done. We got a chunk of it done, though. A little bit of it. Is it through here? I can't remember which way we went to go down in there. It's how busy. Well, that's not even dropping in all the way. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, that stops right there. There we go. Let's do that. That way I've always got another way up to get out of here. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so I need to go up on top of this thing, this mountain, take a look at it, and decide what it is I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and come up with something in my imagination and then a process towards that imagination. Uh, I believe we went up this way, didn't we, to, to get this whole thing going? <laughs> right up here. Uh, so that's what I need to do, and it's going to take me a little bit. I don't know when the next episode will be, but uh, I'm going to do some thinking on this and some work on it, and I'll figure out what I'm going to do and bring you guys back for the uh, the good stuff here. But yeah, there needs to be some more work done uh, in terms of shutting everything down, and then I think I need to not worry about shutting the cave down at the moment, but kind of getting farms and food going and get some cows here. And all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoy today's episode. A little bit of caving in a dripstone cave. Not completely sold that this is what I want to do. But I've got to tell you. It has been pretty exciting. Being in here and working on this. I think I went down this way didn't I? I don't know. It's lit up down there though. It surely is. Yeah we got, uh, we got a chunk of it done today. Which is a good thing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. On the Radio Man 3 I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.